Here's a quick update for you from the shop. Jeff's busy here. Uh, it's at the wing. The wings are already mated now to the fuselage. In other words, the final finish here is done. There's a pins in here. He's got all the wiring in here for the ailerons and for the rudders. And he's working on the fuselage here. Obviously, landing gear's in. He's been getting bulkheads and everything put in here for the batteries. The nose gear is all done here. Pivots, and that's going to be hooked up to a servo. A little access panel in here in the nose and this wing over here is pretty much done we're going to be cutting the ailerons here shortly the, the tops are already cut the bottoms have got to be cut in a second and then we've got, we've got a scoop over here I'm clean it up for you. It's, that's that actually goes on the on the roof of the fuselage just mimicking the actual intake on the prototype and then just setting up here show you the rudders so here's the rudders well the winglets if I can kind of angle this for you there's the main winglet part and that's going to be attached to your sh oh sorry this is the elevator. this is the elevator yeah the canard and the elevator sorry I'm getting rid of the wrong way yeah, yeah. canard and the elevator so you can see those are going to be hooking up there or connecting up the hinges for those shortly and then here we got the rudders those are all cut and I believe both of them are hinged, yep, so this seat has a hinge on here now, so you can... Yeah, I was going to work it for you. Use that, yep. So it just has to install the servo in here. There's one of the little servos there, the little flat ones that just be installed like into the actual winglet itself. So that's that. Let's see what else we have. Alright, so back in the shop. We had a load of foam delivered here uh, during the week and it was taking up this whole area here and now it is in our shipping container out the back and just to give you some idea I'll show you one of the foam billets in a minute but there's uh, 19 foam billets in that shipping container now and it's full. So over here I've been working on calibrating this machine we have it perfectly level now and the spindle is perfectly level I'm drilling all the holes in the concrete here to put the anchor bolts in so we can anchor it down and that's my mission for the rest of the day because <laughs> this concrete has been sitting for over 10 years and it's it's absolutely hard as granite so it's taking a while I got to drill three different levels of holes just to get up to the 5 8 um, with a hammer drill so here's one of these billets of foam and so you can see it's eight foot long it's uh, 49 inches high the way it's sitting and 37 inches wide and we were just basically messing on one of the corners with it right now just doing some tests but uh, calibrating the machine actually with in all the different axes obviously five different axes to calibrate and uh, we've pretty much got that done calibration done so we'll be anchoring it down hopefully uh, today or Monday we'll have it finished anchored if I can get all these holes drilled and we already know how to run it we've run some programs and soon next week we'll have a, um, a delivery of plywood will be coming and we'll be making the first base for um, the side windows and so we can uh, get those molds done and ship them off to the company who's probably going to do the glass for us we haven't decided exactly which one's going to do it anyway that's the uh, update for this week we'll see you next time